very kind of habit. Um, not really a whole pile else to it. I I don't hate the sound of this bike, but it just it doesn't do anything for me either, you know. So that is the end of the standard exhaust as we know it. And the next time you see or hear this bike, the new Scorpion exhaust will be on it, and hopefully it'll be sounding a hell of a lot more meaty. finish off this whole kind of series of flybys and whatnot and also the fitting kit what do I think of these exhausts well the, my favorite sound profile is definitely when the baffles are out um, they are loud but not too loud as I think the video showed even at, at full chat um, which was I suppose my concern because you know I don't want to be uh, attracting unwanted attention if I'm uh, going the speed limit in second gear um, which is what I was doing by the way in that video so that was mostly second gear pulls um, just to kind of get you know the high rev sound low revs I think everyone knows what it sounds like and if you don't as well a really good video to kind of hear it on the bike is my Cork Toy Run uh, video which I'll link up there but overall um, definitely sound profile I prefer baffles out the baffles are really really easy to take in and out um, it's it's literally one bolt either, either side, which is really well threaded, it, really good quality all around, um, and you know I think it's just it's just a great kit, but definitely having these on the bike has made me like the bike even more. I've always liked the Phaser, even though I know it's kind of a, a mid-range bud budget bike, um, 
personally that's not something that bothers me i don't really go for you know the big big label stuff uh it's just a really good bike you know and this is just added to it has it added power feeling of my pants wise maybe a little bit um anything noticeable not really what it has done particularly with the baffles out baffles in rides pretty much the exact same as the the stock exhaust but baffles out um you do have a kind of a smoother uh, acceleration profile down low why that is is it just that little bit less choking up when you're getting on the throttle from you know less back pressure possibly um i did pop out a spark plug during the week just to make sure that it wasn't running too lean uh with the baffles out and it doesn't seem to be and i've put probably about 600 kilometers on the bike with the baffles out now so I'm fairly comfortable with that uh, and those spark plugs are due a change soon so we'll get another look at them um, when I do that. Overall though I'm really happy with the sound and um, I will see how these hold up in the long term but you know the fact that the construction is fully from stainless um, I wouldn't be concerned uh, and that goes for the mid pipe too so that that cat delete mid pipe you know the old piece of scrap is still over there and it just I think it looks better too you know while this video is mostly about sound and, and sound quality, which I think I've, I've gotten across and delighted with, um, it, it changes the look of the bike. You know what I mean? Like the stock shroud thing, yeah, it's fine, um, but it's pretty ugly in my opinion. It, it fit well into the back of the bike, obviously, but it just didn't look like an exhaust. You know what I mean? Like an exhaust should be meaty. It should, it should, it should draw the eye. Exhausts are a huge part of a bike for me. Um, and I know a lot of modern bikes have gone with that kind of low slung exhaust just so you can fit more stuff to make the bike uh, even more usable which is definitely a good thing too but I think the under seats um, they just look good uh, like the CBR with the under seat exhaust that looks really really good and from a fitment profile the obviously you know apart from having to take apart the entire back of the bike in order to fit them um, it's really neat and out of the way once they're fitted. Like I don't plan on ever taking this off again, hopefully. Um, so, you know, for me, it's one and done, uh, which, is, which is the ideal way to do it, really. Um, other than that, obviously the looks, I really liked them. The price was very, very good. And I do encourage anyone who's looking to get a Scorpion system to reach out to Scorpion themselves on Instagram. Um, Charles, I think his name was, who I dealt with on their Instagram profile and super, super helpful guy. Uh, and really was very responsive to you know it wasn't it wasn't a, a two day three day turnaround uh, it was it was very very quick uh, response time you can drop my name if you want it, it won't probably won't do you any good <laughs> I don't have a discount code or anything but you know do tell them that I sent you if you're going to go buy an exhaust but this exhaust for this bike um, what I think is really good is a lot of times when you take out the baffles uh, and this is sound the review sound section say. Um, a lot of the times when you take out the baffles, the exhaust is nearly too loud for daily use. Uh, I haven't found that. I think the, the sound profile that's there with these exhausts is still really, really usable. You know, it's not going to burst your eardrums. And, you know, if I was going on a long trip, I don't think I'd ever have to put back in the baffles. I think all I would have to do is pop in a set of earplugs and that'd do me. Um, I'll show you the baffles in a sec, but other than that, yeah, so looks excellent 10 out of 10 i really like how they look on the bike uh, and all the detail work is just top notch as well and the fact they're from stainless um obviously you can go with the titanium finish or the carbon finish personally i like the stainless finish i think it's just clean uh until you know you get hit with irish weather and then it's not anymore but that's not their fault uh cost 10 out of 10 as well I looked around for a long time for an exhaust and the one I always kind of wanted just because I'd heard Scorpions on other bikes uh, was a Scorpion system so I'm really happy that I ended up getting the Scorpion system and the fact that the price was so reasonable on it. Sound obviously again 10 out of 10 really happy with how it sounds it's not deafeningly loud and the vibrations from you know removing the baffles are, are not intolerable by any means you feel them it's definitely more vibrate with the baffles out than in but i think that's a trade-off that i'm well happy to make um really really happy with with that and obviously fitment then if you want to see them fitted um i have a video as well for that there's a fitting video um but i didn't have a problem with it 
I think um, I'd say seven, eight out of 10, but that's more the bike's design than the fitting kit's design. The fitting kit was very straightforward uh, and very easy. So if I crashed this phaser and got another phaser tomorrow, would I buy another Scorpion system? Absolutely. Um, I'd probably be, it would be one of the first things on my shopping list um, after all the stuff I put in this bike, you know, the uh, braided steel brake lines, the levers, um, I'm going to be fitting foot pegs on there soon, LSL foot pegs, you know, the top box. I probably wouldn't buy that top box again just because of its fitting kit. Again, a video up there if you want to see that one. Uh, but I would definitely, definitely go out and buy another Scorpion uh, system for, for a phaser in a heartbeat. So that's it. Uh, if you've watched, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed my presentation of the Scorpion cans overall, um, please do like the video because it does help me. And I don't, you know, obviously everyone feels awkward saying please like the video, but please do like it. Uh, it does, it does, it does make a difference to me when I see that someone has watched it, commented, and liked on the, vid the video. It it does kind of, it adds to it for me. Uh, put it put you that way. And other than that, yeah, uh, until next time, thanks very much for watching. Um, I hope you like these on the bike because they'll be sticking around for a long time. Um, adios.